is Tammy from Accidental Retiree. I'm gonna take these off so that you can not see my glare. You'll notice I'm a little bit frizzy. I just got out of the shower, dried off, no makeup, but there's a reason for this, and I've gotta tell you. I'm going to be doing a J. Jill haul today, and I'm going to also be doing another haul later, and these will come up a few days from now. I'm gonna be filming a lot today. And I wanted to make this point because I see a lot of people doing hauls. I see a lot of people doing unboxings and trying on, which in those cases particularly, this isn't as important because I know my size in J. Jill. I will be keeping all of these. I ordered them unless they really look god awful or really are missized or something. So with that said, I see people throwing things on the floor, just throwing them around, and then they're not gonna take them and they send them back. Thank you very much, but I might be receiving those items and I want pristine new items. I want items that people have taken care of. I don't want your lipstick goo or makeup goo all over my clothing. And I don't think the companies want things back in that condition and it will happen, it's an accident. I don't keep any liquids around, so I don't have any spillage, any kind of problem like that. And if I would, then I would have to keep the clothes. Okay? That's my little rant. And I hope that people don't get angry. This is meant to be nice. But at the same time, it does peeve me. And I think if you're going to be a person online, who's trying to represent a brand or trying to get noticed, you're going to be an influencer, you need to be aware of your influence. You're telling anyone out there when they go into dressing rooms, whatever, to just treat everything disrespectfully. And kids see this and they become disrespectful and it just is really one little way you can contribute to bringing up society instead of tearing it down. So be aware, if you're an influencer, to be respectful to the clothing you're trying on and therefore the brands that you are possibly representing or critiquing. Okay, that said, I have been a Jake Gel customer for years. At one point in time, they were the only clothing line that I could find that would hit my, uh, fit my body, which is a plus size, has been for a long time. I went through a real traumatic thing when I became a plus size woman. I was in my 30s and it was partly due to a thyroid condition that my doctor refused to treat properly. I had been, when I graduated from high school, a size seven to nine. In college, I was like around 11 to 13 towards the end of college, um, and sometimes still nines and tens, once in a while an eight. In my mid-20s, I began to struggle and I started to be a size 14, and going to the mall was no longer fun. I could not find clothing for myself, which was ridiculous because I was having difficulty as a size 10 and sometimes in a, a size eight back then. It was like everything was size zero or one. And I live in Wisconsin people and there were very few people like that around the valley at that time, unless they were 12 years old. So um, where I live in Wisconsin, okay, Fox River Valley area. Anyway, so that said, and my parents had had weight issues and I did not want to be like them growing up. So I was, it was just so unfair because I wasn't eating a lot, but I still was gaining weight. And I was active and blah, blah, blah. Well, um, I tried to get down to a size 16, um, and stay, maintain a size 16 when I was having children. Uh, the doctors did not like me being that heavy, but you know, that's the way it, it was. And then at one point I realized that when I diet, I would just gain it all back and then some more. 
And so I kind of stopped that. I stopped looking at the scales. I started just looking at feeling comfortable in myself and just owning who I was. And I've maintained mainly a size 18. I did towards the end of my teaching career for whatever reason. I think I might have been eating more because of stress or whatever. And I, I was up to a size 20. And um, I was wearing two X's. And I have been for the last few years. It's hard for me now to get out of the mindset that I'm a 2X. Um, I've noticed in some brands, yes, I still am because they are skimpy on their sleeves particularly. I have these big arms and that was always my problem even when I was thin. I also have a bosom that's large enough that, well, if I would get down to a size 10, not everything will fit me because they just don't make clothes for the size I will always be in my bosom. Okay, so that said, I love J. Jill clothing. It's comfortable. They always feel like jammies. They have all those things that I like. And I have been finding that their two X's are starting to run a little bit big because I've been not eating as much the last few years. Plus, I take a water pill now, so... I always felt I was retaining water, so all the water I was retaining is starting to go away. So who knows what size I'm gonna be next year? I don't know. But anyway, um, I'm trying to maintain just a comfort zone in my stomach and just, you know, and if I end up being thin, that's fine again. But I'm just, comfortable with who I am and who I am right now is wearing an extra large in a J Jill and I'm excited about that. This is a new um, t-shirt and I'm going to be flip I'm going to be showing that to you in a little bit but first I want to show you some of the things that I got. So I got that. I also am wearing a pair of jeggings and they're like this which are in an 18. They are um this shirt that I'm wearing is $39. The jeggings that I'm wearing um, are $99, but they're well worth it. They're well made. They're very comfortable. They shrink a little bit because my husband washes things a little too warm and he likes to do the wa laundry. And I'm fine with that because our laundry is downstairs and I have Meniere's and going down steps and up with stuff is not a good thing. Plus I have a really bad foot too from an injury a long time ago. So anyway, so this is the way we do things. I kind of manage the upstairs, he does the laundry, we you know, both put things away and so on. Um, sometimes I do go down and put things in, so don't think I never do laundry. It's just, for the most part, that is what he does. And um, it's worked out well, but anyway, so I purchased, I had to wait for the, the jeggings that I have on, which are in Loden, and $99. And this shirt that I'm wearing is $39. And it is called, in an extra large, and it's the color um, Mocha. So, um, and it's kind of a long sleeve tee, which you're gonna see in a moment. I also have another, so I have a jean pair of jeggings that I got, the black pair, the Loden pair, and then I have a couple of tops. One might be a dress that I'm going to be trying on, and I will show those to you. They're all here. This is, um, this is, I can't remember if, I think this is a dress, but I'm not sure. And it's $49, but you'll see that in a little bit. And you're also going to see another item, which is a shirt tail tee in extra large. And I'm gonna look, maybe this tells me. Oh, it's just a long style tee in an extra large. I tried to keep, um, Item. So that's 49, 
these two tops were 39 and then the jeggings are 99 so it's about that $200 range where my Dia box was and my um, Stitch Fix was also a little over 200 but remember I had shoes. So um, I'm going to now show you our first item and I'm gonna step over here and I'm sorry my house is still in the process of being decorated but I'm going to put this over here and hope that I'm not in the sun, but I might be. I was thinking it would be fun to have a Christmas tree background with it being the Christmas season. There's our Christmas tree, it's decorated. We have our blue ribbons on this year because our son won't be home. But here is the tee that's $39 and my jeggings. Um, this is a size XL and a size 18 in Missy's. Okay, so I'm not in women's in J. Jill when I'm at a size 18. When I go up to their, what is com comparable to a size 20, I'm in the women's clothes, clothing and it's called a 2X. So, and it's their women's eight, 18, their women's 18, 16 W is their 1X, the 2X is the 20. This is an 18. I probably can wear their 1X, but actually these have a little, the their st sizing goes so that this has a little bit larger proportion. I think it's in the waist where I like it. And so I always find the Missy's to be better for me with J. Jill. You may find something different. Okay, I'm going to try the next outfit on and I'll be back in a flash. So this is the multi-floral top, again, an, an, XL, an XL, and um, which is like an 18 Missy's, and it goes nicely with the Loden um, jeggings, and um, that isn't exactly the name that they call them, but I will explain it, but it's a similar top. The only thing it has a V-neck. It does cut a little bit low, but not too bad. Um, I could wear a cami if I'm feeling like I need to be more modest, but it would be nice for a nice dinner out with my husband. So, I like this one too. It's a hit. And I'm excited that there's plenty of room after washing, and this will look nice with my black, and it will look nice with jeans, and of course these loading. So I'm excited about this. It was a wise choice. Again, $49, a little bit more expensive than the plain. We'll see the last top next. And this is my last tee. It's a black tee. It's not the same exactly, but it was the same price, $39. It's a little more stretchy knit. This will be nice under a jumper, um, tucked into a pair of jeans, and um, or with a cardigan over it. So, um, it's a very nice little tee, and I'm excited about this one too. And again, this is an XL. So that is a pair of jeggings for 99, two tops for 39, and another for 49. Gives us approximately $200. Well, lucky for me, I didn't finish this J. Jill haul right away because when I went through some of my packages, opening uh, things that we, are order we ordered for Christmas <laughs> presents, I thought I had ordered a dress, and indeed I did. So this haul is a five item with a $99 leggings, a $39 shirt, a $49 shirt, a dress for $58, and then another shirt for $39 instead of gloves or a scarf, as I did in the J. Crew and the, the um, Dia box, and uh, the Stitch Fix had boots. So there's a little bit different variation. This one had an extra shirt in it, but um, it wasn't a box. This was a haul. So, um, and items that I purchased, some of them were on sale. So the, the $99 leggings, I 
I'm putting its original price. I probably got them on sale. I do think I I'm, I want to say they were, it was a one day sale. So I can't give you that pricing. The J. Jill website has periodic sales. This dress was a sale dress. So I don't think that this was the original price on this. It came in black, but because I had, I believe it came in black. I chose this Heather Ocean instead because I had already, um, with the Amazon haul, ha the Amazon Prime haul, I had um, a turtleneck uh, sweater dress, and so I didn't want two black ones. So even though I think this one would have fit better, but I'm going to show you now. Let's see. Excuse my tripoding here. <laughs> there we go. Sorry. I want to show you this dress before I finish here. And I've got to get the tripod secure. Whoops, it's a little crooked. There we go. And I'm going to go backwards. Probably my head was cut off, but this is the Ocean Heather dress in an extra large. So um, I'm fitting into extra large as in J. Jill, where I often have to wear a 2X in other boxes or a 1X, so, or with other companies, I should say, subscription boxes versus other items. There's my tree in the background, and it's looking nice with my ocean blue here. Um, this fits in the sleeves better. I just don't think I have it pulled down completely right. <laughs> I think something's sticking out back here, but anyway, um, I'm happy with it. It'll mold better to my body, I'm sure, as time goes on. It's a little bit, I don't know. Hopefully it wasn't misshapen by someone, but if it was, it'll probably reshape in the wash. Anyway, so that was my J. Jill haul. Um, don't forget, if you like this video, to like and subscribe to my channel, An Accidental Retiree. I'll be back shortly with an unboxing video. I'm not sure if this will go up. I think this will go up after my unboxing. I have a new bead box that I'm going to be unboxing a little bit later today. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.